What I want to talk about right now, guys, I just want to make sure everyone understands ADIL. ADIL is the best penny stock at the moment. Now, why? Why is ADIL the best penny stock trade at the moment? Well, obviously, because it's up the highest, right? ADIL currently is up 43%. Yes, there is AMTX slightly above it, but ADIL has been a much better play overall. AMTX has been very choppy, you know, a lot lower volume. It's a smaller stock. You know, ADIL has been a lot more consistent, has a very nice press release behind it. But even in basically these bearish times right here, and we're seeing a lot more shorting, we're seeing a lot more people playing option puts, we're seeing a lot more people sitting back at this moment, right? Why is ADIL holding on up? And I just want to make sure everyone has the thought process that I have, you know, understanding why ADIL is holding on up. Because other than ADIL, where this has been a very strong move, we have not seen many stocks hold up today. You can see Red Day coming on down, a uh, ANFI, you know, quick little pop, couldn't hold, came back on down. GEMP, nothing going on there, no volume. TYHT, you know, very choppy, no volume, making its way on up. ARCI trying to hold its way on up. Why is ADIL different? Why is this stock, you know, being a lot more consistent even with, you know, the markets, you know, continuing to fall, you know, like the SPY right here? Why is it like that, guys? Well, because traders like to find the play that makes them feel the most comfortable, right? Traders like to find the play that makes them feel, hey, I'm comfortable right now at this time. It makes them say, hey, you know what? I feel good going long on this. Now, why does ADIL make traders feel good going long on this play right now? It's the same reason traders felt good going long on MRIN. MRIN came out with news um, back on December 18th. And we could check this out right here where we see MRIN come out with some solid news. December 17th, I believe it is. Let's see right here. Oh, yeah, it updated. It came out with its earnings report right here. Right? It came out with an earnings report and it also talked about an agreement with Google. So MRIN had a lot of, you know, had a good press release, had a gap up, and then MRIN had a very solid day. The next day was a very solid day. The next day was a very solid day. And this is what we like to call continuation breakouts, where basically we get one good day, and then the next day nothing goes on. People go, hey, let's go back to MRIN. That was a great spiker the previous day. And then everyone moves into it. And then the next day, maybe nothing goes on and maybe the penny stock world and people say, hey, you know, MRN, you know, that was the play that ripped the last two days. Let's go back into it. And then everyone moves into it again. And then the same concept just keeps going and going and going. And you can see MRN basically every single day people moved into it until on Monday, what happened? We had our first red day. Now people don't feel comfortable there anymore, right? We had a red day. I don't feel comfortable playing MRN anymore. We had a red day, MRN. I don't really know about that one anymore. Uh, that's a little iffy in my eyes, right? That's getting a little bit scary over there, right? So MRN gets a little bit more iffy. MRN gets a little bit more scary, right? So where did we see that? We saw that now on ADIL, where ADIL started getting a lot more hype towards it because this came out with a press release two days ago. And we could see ADIL had a green day on Friday, had a green day on Monday, has a green day here because this is what we're following on continuation breakouts. So ADIL right here, we came out with a press release on December 24th, which is on Monday, talking about it retires all its outstanding debt. Traders are saying right here, hey, this, this press release came out with a good, uh, this company came out with a good press release a couple days ago. Ever since then, it's been green. It's been green. We don't have a red day on this play yet. MRIN, the old comfortable play, that stock, you know, came out with a red day, right? You know, that has a red day. I don't feel comfortable trading that right now. ADIL, look at this, you know, look at the daily chart. We have good news, we have green. We have uh, another day, we have green. And today, you know, let's head back over there because we don't feel comfortable playing MRIN over anymore. So right now, the best long trade is not trying to spot out what's the, you know, right at the beginning. The best long trade is basically the play that shows the most consistency. That's where traders are feeling the most comfortable for the long side. It's, hey, there's a lot of different press releases that come out every single morning. Which one's going to be the most consistent and best one? Well, we kind of have to wait, it seems like, for a day to basically develop to say, okay, this one's green. So since this one is green, what's going to happen? This one's green. Um, you know, a lot of traders are going to look towards it the next day. And if it holds green again, a lot of traders are going to look for it the next day. And if it holds green again, a lot of traders are going to look for it the next day. Right? That's kind of where we're at. And then we see the same exact concept and until it goes red. 
And then once it goes red, people say, okay, well, let's find the one that's been going green. Let's find the one with a credible press release, with good hype, that I feel comfortable on. People don't want to take risk right now, right? People don't want to take crazy risks. So they go to MRIN, they see that was a top gainer yesterday. Hey, let's play the previous top gainer. Hey, let's play the previous top gainer. It's red. I don't want to play it. ADIL, hey, that was a previous top gainer. Hey, that was a previous top gainer. Hey, let's play it today. Now it's another big green day, right? So that's kind of just where we're at right now on ADIL. Um, and that's the reason why this play is moving on up. It does have a good press release. It does have, you know, good hype towards it. It's a lower float play. It's just the comfort level. And I just want to make sure everyone understands that, uh, understands that because other than that, you know, SFET has been falling. ANFI was a quick little pop, but no real news. And 13 EMA, strong resistance. GEMP has been a little bit of trouble, no volume as well. So that's where you want to be looking at every single day. And it, guess what? If we don't have a top gainer, wait till a top gainer forms, then guess what? That's going to become the new comfort level. That's where everyone's going to be focused on, all right? So that's just something I wanted to go over very quickly, talking about continuation breakouts and making sure that you guys understand continuation breakouts and how basically if there's nothing else going on, especially in scary times, people just want to feel comfortable. And you know, with that being said, that's where traders are going to be going.